गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई नेम इज मनदीप कौर फ्रॉम कैलिफोर्निया पब्लिक स्कूल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन सो लेट स्टार्ट टूडे टॉपिक टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट चैप्टर एंड नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज डाटा हैंडलिंग सो दैट इज द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ द फाइनल टर्म सिलेबस सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट वर्कशीट एंड दैट इज टोटली बेस्ड ऑन द मीन एंड मीडियम बट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ओनली द मीन सो हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट द मीन वेन द नंबर आर गिवन so let's start the first question of the worksheet that is 21.1 and the first question is we have to calculate the mean here is a statement find the mean of find the mean of and the numbers are given that is 6 8 11 5 2 9 7 and last is 8 so here the numbers are given and we have to calculate their mean so firstly i am going to write down the formula of finding the mean so mean that is equal to sum of the given observation sum of given observations divided by the number of number of observations so here is the formula for finding the mean so firstly here we have to calculate the sum that means we have to add all these observation these are called the observations and afterward we have to calculate the number the total number of the counting that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so there are the eight observation so total number of the observations are eight and here we have to calculate their sum so write down the value sum that means 6 plus 8 plus 11 Plus five, plus two, plus nine, plus seven, plus eight, and divided by the total number of observations. How many observations are there? Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means total eight numbers are there. So firstly, you have to add all these observations. I am going to write down the answer only when you will add these one. You will get the fifty six. So divided by eight, so eight sevens are fifty six. That means the mean of this given observation is seven. So let's start the next question of this worksheet now. Okay, now the next question of this worksheet is here. The weight of ten boys are given, and we have to calculate their mean weight of the boys. So here are the mean weight of the ten boys: thirty five, thirty eight, thirty, thirty four, twenty nine, thirty six, twenty eight, thirty three, thirty two, and last is twenty six. And we have to calculate the mean weight of the boys. So again, by using the same formula for finding the mean. So mean that is equal to the sum of all observation divided by the total number of observation. So sum of these observation that means thirty five plus thirty eight plus thirty plus thirty four. Plus twenty nine, plus thirty six, plus twenty eight, plus thirty three, plus thirty two, plus twenty six, and divided by the number of the observations. So here we will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are the ten observations. So divided by ten. So when you will add these ones, I am going to write down the answer only. You will get three twenty one. Twenty one. When you will add all these numbers, you will get three twenty one and divided by ten. So here is one zero. That means we have to put down the decimal after the one place. So you will get the answer thirty two point one. So that is the mean weight of the boys. The required answer is thirty two point one. So let's start the next question of this worksheet. And now in the next question, that means in the third question. the statement of the third question is find the mean of the first nine odd natural number first nine here is a third question first nine odd natural numbers odd natural numbers so here we have to calculate the mean of the first nine or odd natural numbers so firstly i'm going to write down the odd natural numbers so here is 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 15 17 
and uh, here I'm going to count these are 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are the first 9 odd natural numbers. So now we have to calculate their mean. So again by using the same formula, the sum of our observation divided by the number of the observation. So sum that means 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 divided by so how many observation these are 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so divided by 9 so when you will add these ones you will get 81 so divided by 9 so 9 nines are 81 so that means the mean of the first 9 or natural number is 9 so let's start the next question of this worksheet Okay, now the next question of this worksheet is find the sum of the 8 numbers whose mean is 13. Now in this question the mean is already given and here we have to calculate the sum. So again by using the same formula. So mean that is equal to the sum of the observation. That means sum of the 8 numbers. Sum of 8 numbers divided by the total numbers. Total numbers. So here in this question the mean is already given. So write down the value of mean that is 13. Sum we have to find out. So write it as it is sum of 8 numbers. And the total number. How many numbers are there? There are the 8 numbers. So write down here 8. Now 8 is divided on the right hand side. That means in the left hand side it will be multiplied. So 13 multiply 8 is equal to sum of 8 numbers sum of 8 numbers. Now by doing this multiplication you will get 104. So that is the sum of 8 numbers. So which is our required answer. Now let's start the next question of this worksheet. Okay, now the next question of this worksheet is the following table shows the number of the road accident in a town during the different months of a year. So here are the months and here the number of accidents are given. 3, 7, 6, 4, 5 in the month of Jan, Feb, March, April and May. And we have to calculate the mean of the given data. So again by using the same formula for finding the mean that is the sum of the observation divided by the total number of observations. Sum that means 3 plus 7 plus 6 plus 4 plus 5. Divided by the total number of observations. So how many observations are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the 5 observations. So when you will add these one, you will get uh, 25. So divided by 5, that means 5. So 5 is the mean of this given observation. Now the next 6 quotient is also same as the first 5 question in the 6 question you have to calculate the mean and you have to try it yourself and tomorrow we will start the new topic that is based on the median hope so that all of you have been clear about in which way we can calculate the mean of the given observation so thank you so much everyone